everybody and welcome to the 18th edition of the Business Today Pro-Am of Champions. Today, I'm at the picturesque setting of the classic golf resort in Manasar. This tournament is fast becoming a landmark in the Indian golfing calendar. And today, 20 of the top women's professionals from Asia and India combine their skills with some of the best golfers from the corporate world. What's at stake? 1.1 million rupees. The 18th edition of the Business Today Pro-Am of Champions saw the participation of over 150 prominent Indian business leaders playing alongside some of the top Indian and Asian women professional golfers. The tournament has not only helped in popularizing the game of golf amongst top corporate leaders but has also given a unique platform to top Indian women professionals as well as amateur golfers to interact informally with some of the country's key decision makers. Well, the idea of this tournament is to give a platform for Indian women golfers so that they can then go international win tournaments there and of course create a name for Indian women's golf. Now for the past three years, only professional women have been allowed to lead the corporate teams. The tournament aimed at developing and growing women's golf in India is sanctioned by the Women's Golf Association of India, the governing body for women's professional golf in India. While the Indian roster was led by Sharmila Nicolette, Neha Tripathi and Ankita Tiwana, the international brigade was led by top Asian women professionals like Amol Khan Palajivan and Penapa Pulsawat. Well, the business today, Pro-Am of Champions, has been growing surely but steadily over time. In fact, now it's in its 18th edition and the sponsors have been more than supportive. Over the past three years, women have taken precedence here and it is vital that the sponsors keep that appreciation up. I think the, the philosophy is really to be uh, encouraging sport per se. And if it is women that sort of are beginning to take center stage in this particular sport, that's really wonderful. You know? I mean, there's, there's really no sort of gender preference or bias that yeah. uh, IDC really looks at when they're sort of looking at okay. stuff like this. I think uh, women uh, sports should also have the same central sp uh, stage as, as men uh, and uh, you know uh, my, my wife is actually a, a good sportsman a person herself right and, and I, I think it's just wonderful what BT uh, you know business today is doing bring you know sponsoring such tournament uh, and they play a wonderful game it, it's great to watch. The more the sponsors the more frequently such events will take place and the frequency of the events will determine how much uh, a chance the pros as well as amateurs get to play. I think it's been a fantastic uh, tournament. I compliment Business Today and all the sponsors for organizing this edition. I believe it's the 18th edition of this program championship in India. I think it's nice to see the golf is uh, evolving and is gaining a lot more prominence. And I think also it's very nice to see that uh, the sponsors are encouraging, especially women, pro golfers. Uh, I think this is great for the golf and great for the country and I hope uh, we'll see many more good golfers coming out of India. Oh, I think there is immense talent there and uh, if programs like this are there, I'm sure more and more uh, women and ladies would come forward and play the game. Uh, it's been accepted very well in other parts of the world. India is still catching up and I'm sure this is good encouragement for uh, the ladies uh, in the city here. Well, the level of anticipation here at the tournament is exceptional. In fact, the competition is so severe this time that looking at the level playing field, I think that we're in for a great game of golf day one.
A perfect setting at the Jack Nicholas Design Classic Golf Resort paved the way for an enthralling day of golf where corporates were keen to rub shoulders with the pros. Day one of the 18th Business Today Pro-Am of Champions saw some of the top corporate leaders in action teaming up with the professional women golfers at the Classic Golf Resort in Manasar. Neha Tripathi, who has been in excellent form this season, continued her good run to lead on day one along with Thai golfer Pinapa Pulsawat. Neha Tripathi, winner of the first leg of the Women's Pro Golf Tour 2013, finished round one at 3 under 69. Yes, good riding. So, Thank you. <laughs> Pinapa Pulsawat too finished round one with identical scores of 3 under 69. It was a great day for Thai golfers as the third and fourth spots were taken by Thiranan Yupan and Amul Khan Palajivin respectively. Thiranan scored at four birdies to finish at par 72 and Amul Khan Palajivin with five birdies finished at 1 over 73. Well it is time now for our first break but when we come back all the action from day two plus we get to meet some of the international pros.